Let me tell you about this girl called Cleo. I think you might know someone like her too. She had the dream of becoming a model. She said she was going to move to LA to pursue it seriously. She took care of herself, at least her body well. Someone told me she did ads for L'Oreal. She had so many followers on Instagram who all loved her. Within a minute of her posting a picture, there would be hundreds and hundreds of comments, all telling her how beautiful she was, how good she looked, comment after comment, like after like. She was a real entertainer. She was always making everyone laugh. I remember every guy wanted her number, but, but she kept to herself. She just had this infectious energy. She got along with everyone. She was always the life of the party. She was never seen in the same outfit twice. Boxes and boxes of Amazon Prime. On Instagram, she was the perfect girl with the perfect life. The perfect world with the perfect guys. But nothing's perfect, right? It seemed like she was always having the best time with her friends. Always traveling, new experiences, and so many great stories to share. Until people started to notice. I think she lived like two lives. No one really knew her inside. She had everyone to text, but no one to talk to. Everyone to follow, but no one to walk with. When the phone was up, her world was a stage. When it was down, her reality came. She had an invite to every event, but still felt lonely. She had all the friends in the world, but still felt no one really knows me. She was going through pain, but never showed that side. It was something she hid from the world. Or maybe we just never asked. She had masked her sadness with what looked like the ideal life. She was always flying high in the air, but felt low inside. Her inbox was always full, but she felt empty within. She was happy on the outside, but struggling with depression and anxiety. She had an addiction that everyone called a lifestyle, but she was struggling with mental health but people were just occupied by her physical appearance. See, people think depression is sadness. People think depression is crying. People think depression is being quiet. Depression is when we smile, but we want to cry. It's when we talk, but we want to be quiet. It's when we pretend like we're happy, but we're not. Depression is not always obvious. She drank to drown her pain, but the pain learned how to swim. She was sick of crying, tired of trying, smiling, but inside she was dying. It's amazing how we can think we know someone and still not know them at all. I don't think we understand how stressful it is to explain what's going on in your head when you don't even understand yourself. We use filters to lighten our photos whilst we carry the heavy weight of stress. Remember, it's okay to have highlight reels, but make sure someone knows how you really feel. It's okay to use FaceTime, but make sure you spend quality time face to face. It's okay to have followers, but make sure you have true friends. Don't live for the approval of others. Document the moments you're most in love with yourself, not just the moments you think people will love the most. When someone doesn't post for a few days, we ask if they're okay. When someone posts every day, we assume they are. Tell people you love them. Be a trustworthy friend. Tell them that they matter. Tell them that they've survived a lot and they're ready to thrive now. People who care will ask how you're doing. People who love you will wait till you tell the truth. And that's why Robin Williams said, I used to think that the worst thing in life was to end up alone. It's not. The worst thing in life is to end up with people who make you feel alone.